Catherine and Louis K. Aloha learned their fates today, finally sentenced for their federal convictions last year. Catherine sentenced to 13 years. Louis got seven. Restitution of more than $450,000 is owed to various victims of their schemes. Now, the sentencing comes after a long pandemic-induced delay following their federal convictions last year. I was in court today as the judge admonished the Kealohas for their conduct, but also the county for allowing this to happen. Former County Deputy Prosecutor Catherine Kealoha, former Honolulu Police Chief Louis Kealoha, and two HPD officers were convicted last year in a federal conspiracy and obstruction case for framing her uncle in a staged mailbox heist. The Kealohas both pled guilty in a separate bank fraud case, and Catherine pled guilty in a third indictment involving drugs. Catherine was up first for sentencing, entering Judge Michael C. Bright's courtroom in a beige prison jumpsuit. Once known for her defiant demeanor, she turned penitent, saying, I do not say that the actions that I committed was because I was on prescription medication. I'm saying that it clouded my judgment for my actions. I ask forgiveness from my family and from my uncle for all the destruction and devastation that I caused. In the gallery, her uncle, Gerard Puana, the victim in the mailbox set up, stared straight ahead, not in Catherine's direction. But her aunt, Charlie, interjected, thank you. Catherine's grandmother, Florence Puana, who lost her home and hundreds of thousands of dollars in a reverse mortgage scheme Catherine engineered, passed away in February at the age of 100, but not before dictating this message to Charlie, which she read to the judge. You betrayed me. Years of trying to fix what could never be undone left me with a heavy heart and much regret. Prosecutor Michael Wheat and Gerard Puana wiped away tears as Florence's words rang out. Kealoha's eyes appeared saddened above her blue mask, but no tears wetted it. Judge Seabright handed down a sentence of 13 years, one year short of the 14 years prosecutors were pushing for. She must also pay more than $450,000 in restitution, most going to the estate of Florence Puana and a share to Gerard Puana, as well as to the Taito siblings from whom she bilked six figures by raiding their trust following their father's death. Louis Kealoha will serve seven years. He is responsible for 25% of the restitution from the mailbox case and 100% jointly with Catherine in the bank fraud case. Louis told the court, this is the last place in my life I ever thought I'd be. I vow never to be here again. I'm sorry for the hurt pain and disappointment I caused, I take full responsibility for my actions. I respect the judge's uh, decision and uh, it's time to move on. Judge Seabright spent almost as much time admonishing the county as he did addressing the Kealohas, stating, how was it this went on so long undetected? These are questions everyone should be asking. Anyone who cares about the community should be asking this. How is that possible? He said events have truly shaken confidence in our government institutions, that corruption was allowed to flourish, and nobody was willing to challenge or even question. Nobody until the feds stepped in. There's going to be other indictments coming down. There's just, uh, I, you know, again, it's just the state is corrupt. It's been that way my whole life. They can't use their power and uh, authority uh, in this manner. You know, it's just... Um, It'll, 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 it'll kiss up to you. Gerard Puana's federal civil rights lawsuit against the Kealohas, the county and HPD officers, was paused until sentencing, a stay that will soon be lifted. Morally, there is simply no excuse for city officials to say, okay, the Kealohas are going off to jail, it's all done with. It ought to be incumbent upon the city and county to take a serious look and fix what its institutions have done here by providing enough financial support for Gerard and his family to remedy what's taken place. When all of this occurred and it became public, we appointed very strong police commissioners, strong and independent commissioners who rocked the boat, spoke their mind, and brought about change. Now, Louis doesn't have to report for imprisonment until April of 2021, a delay due to COVID. Bobby Nguyen and Derek Hahn find out their fates at sentencing tomorrow. The ex-HPD officers were convicted along with the Kealohas in the mailbox case.